Hey everybody, welcome back to the Overwatch channel on YouTube. Uh, I did a w video a while ago. Keep in mind that if you re research things, you're bound to change your mind about what you believe um, as new evidence comes into light, as long as you're willing to accept new evidence. I did a video a while ago that's got an amazing amount of views, 16,592 as of right now. And that is scientists know that the Earth is in the center of the universe. And I may have made that video a little bit too complicated or uh, may have muddled my way through it. I just want to simplify what it really means and correct some of the things I said because it's really important that people understand the, the meaning of this. And um, I see from a lot of the comments people are just trying to wiggle and squirm their way out of uh, accepting certain things. So. Basically, three satellites were sent up over a long period of time, uh, Kobe, WMAP, and Planck being the last one and most sophisticated. These three satellites scanned the universe and brought back amazing data. Uh, I forget which was first, Kobe or WMAP, but the scientists that studied the data didn't really like what they found because – Here's what it is in its simplest form, okay? When I say scientists know that the Earth is in the center of the universe, what I mean by that is the data, accumulated data from all these satellites and all the over a decade now of research, maybe 20 years worth of research that has gone into this, and you really don't hear scientists talking too much about what this means. Because uh, most of these scientists have a scientism uh, agenda, and they're not really about science, number one. Number two, they are uh, mostly atheists, and they have to believe certain things about the universe for that belief to for, – for their atheism to be uh, valid. So um, what – is expected with a Big Bang theory is a random dispersion of matter and energy, you know, and certain laws of physics apply to how that should look. But when they look at the universe, it's not random, okay? The cosmic background radiation has hot and cold regions, which are not distributed in a random way. And there is a hot and cold um, visible I guess you could – they call it the axis of evil, but these hot and cold regions actually draw like an X that they can see, and that X goes through the Earth's plane, okay? So that's where the term axis of evil comes from. In this article here, this guy goes through a tremendous amount of effort to try to say, hey, don't worry about it. It's all normal. And with most scientific uh, articles, I find that you have to read the whole article, and especially when you get down toward the bottom, do you get to see uh, where the problems are. Okay, so you have to go all the way down to the bottom, and um, at some point you will see that there is um, an issue. Let me try to find. Let me try to find where this guy uh, lets the cat out of the bag here. Um, he's talking about all the anomalies of the probes. And here we go. The odds that the universe would have that particular anomaly small, less than 1%. So, um, and it's really much smaller than 1%. But the, the fact is that he has, he, he spends his whole time in this whole article, this guy. Uh, I love the comments below the article. That's when you see how people, I hurt my hand today and I had to get stitches. This post makes me feel better already. Uh, you know, I mean, uh, the, the people here aren't, aren't really buying this if you read um, about that 1% odds the universe would have that particular anomaly. It sounds as though we were calculating the odds of any anomaly of a similar magnitude without prior concern for where the spectrum it should be. The result would become less significant. Is this correct? Okay, so people are questioning his conclusions here but that's not the point 
point is people try to always say, you know, well, the satellites are seeing the Earth at the center of the universe because that's what the satellite is and it's seeing itself at the center of the universe. That's not what this is about. This is about the cosmic background radiation not being randomly distributed and there being hot and cold regions that make no sense under the random Big Bang explosion theory. Okay, that and there are several other problems with that theory, like, for example, planets that spin or galaxies even that spin the wrong direction. I mean, there's that pesky law of angular momentum where if something starts spinning in a direction, everything's going to spin in that direction. But things in the universe don't seem to obey that rule. <clears throat> but here's the thing. When it comes down to it, what my real point is and what I really am starting to conclude is that number one uh you try this if you have to squirm around when evidence comes to contradict something you believe try just not not fighting it try just saying hey uh maybe something maybe what i believe is wrong um maybe you know you should consider the fact that belief is an impediment to truth uh something i heard on Crow 777's channel, he does a lot of work on moon, lunar observations and anomalies he's videotaped there. But he's right. Uh, if you believe something and you happen to believe something that's wrong, now that belief now becomes a barrier to the truth, first of all. Second of all, none of this means that any particular world religion is true. Okay, that's... Something I think atheists are so desperately afraid of that if they were to admit to a supernatural uh, side of uh, existence that that would uh, provide some kind of power to a certain religion or another. None of this means that any particular religion is true. Religions uh, can't say that this proves any one of their particular religions. It just means... If you take a to look at the totality of the evidence and all the information that we have available today from things like near-death experiences that you have to really squirm around with and come to really strange kind of excuses for certain cases that you cannot just simply explain away. If you have to try to explain how the universe isn't random, uh, that maybe <clears throat> everybody has the wrong picture of what's going on. Okay, I'm not saying I'm, I know what's going on. I'm saying that atheism is wrong. And if you are an atheist and you, your real issue is, happens to be with a particular organized religion, then take it up with them. But don't try to use some kind of excuse to maintain your atheism. And uh, as far as you religious fundamentalists out there, don't think that Proving that there's a God proves that your version of it is accurate either. Okay, so <clears throat> that's it. It's just an update video. All the links, the scientific data that's under my original video is still there. A link to that original video there. I don't necessarily believe in everything I said in that original video, but a lot of this stuff is still accurate. I just wanted to make this update video to clarify a few things. It's not about the position of the satellite. It's not about <clears throat> the big X that they see. What it really boils down to is that you can't really explain how a non-random universe was created by accident. It's basically what it boils down to. Okay? So thanks for watching. And uh, sorry about the delay. I was busy with stuff and I had a little vacation I took. Uh, Thanks for watching. Bye.